Welcome to this video where we're going to look at standard and non-standard partitioning. Remember, if you enjoy this video and find it valuable, let your friends know, but also hit subscribe at the end to make sure you receive uh, future videos that we're doing and you don't miss any of them. Let's have a look at how we can use concrete materials here to show how we can partition 235. Now partitioning means that we're going to break the number up into its various parts. And there's multiple ways of doing this, but we're going to look at partitioning it in an additive way. And the first or standard way is to use place value. So we have two hundreds or 200 plus 30 plus five ones. So we've Partition 235 using place value, using our pattern of ones, tens and hundreds. Let's have a look at what it means to do non-standard partitioning. Now, non-standard partitioning is something that we use when we're calculating. And if we had a subtraction, 235, take away 27, for instance, we actually carry out the process of non-standard partitioning by renaming, carrying, borrowing, whatever you want to call it, changing that three tens into two tens and making our five ones 15 ones. And that's exactly what we're requiring students to do down here. So non-standard Partitioning is a skill that they need in their, um, in their various mental and written calculations. So we take one of the tens, we replace it with 10 ones, and a non-standard partitioning of 235 would then be 200 plus 20 plus 15. And the purpose of doing it is for our calculations. Hope this has helped you understand both standard and non-standard partitioning in an additive way. Don't forget to hit subscribe uh, so that you receive notifications of future videos. And pop on over to learningyou.com.au if you want to make your own place value cards.